All right, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft ROTC Edition, where today you're going to be having to collect. What's wrong, Momo? Cat's just going in circles now. We're going to be collecting some more resources. Oh, yeah, my inventory is a mess. I forgot about that tidbit. Uh, it's fine. I'll just put this stuff in here for now, and then I will put a bunch of this stuff away. As soon as I go on ahead and get some more wood, because we need a lot of wood. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. We're almost finished with uh, the season. And we're not almost finished with the walls. We need a lot more wood, a lot more stone, a lot more everything. The amount of things that we need are exponentially higher. I would prefer for them to be. Not really good, but what can you do? It's just the way things are right now. A lot is um, needed to get these walls finished. Need a lot of these damn spruce per quadrant. And a lot of the damn stone as well. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm hoping it doesn't take too long going into season 7. Because ideally, we finish off the entirety of the village before season 7 ends. At least in this instance, we have finished up a large portion of everything building wise. Because this is the second to last episode, by the by. That means that we only have one more episode left. One more set of two hours left after this one. And then after that, well, that's it. We move on to Raft. And I haven't even figured out if I could record and play it at the same time on this computer yet. I'm sure I can convert it to a PS1 game if I mess around with the graphics and the resolution and size and all that stuff. I'm sure it will run fine enough, but I still don't have a clue. I gotta figure out when I want to do that. Not tonight, obviously, because I want to try to go to sleep as soon as I finish Game Crafters, which is going to be, I believe, a poison level we're making. But yeah, that is, um, that is something we're going to have to be worried about at some point. I might even try to see if I can go in the raft soon-ish and reduce everything as best as I can. Graphics, resolution, all of it. Hopefully. It will be interesting to see how that's going to look once it, all everything is set and done. But we try to put on as low as possible. We try to go on ahead and um, reduce the resolution. Anything to make the game run smoother so I can record it. Because even when I'm not recording it, it doesn't run that well. It really does not. So yeah, hopefully... Nope. Cat's bouncing in. Bumping into the under desk? Nope, over there. Yeah, by the time we are recording this tomorrow, I eat it tomorrow that this episode comes out, she won't have to worry about that. I wonder if you can still see her over there. Just sitting there, standing there. Nope, this is literally facing to the ceiling. You cannot see anything down there. Not from this angle, at least. I feel like I missed some wood up there. I'm gonna be missing a whole bunch of wood here, for a fact. Alright, Momo. What you looking at? Next door neighbor's making noise, moving around. Yeah, I have rarely heard any, like, talking, yelling, loud noises. 
So if I talk in a relatively somber tone, not go too loud, then I feel like we can still record during this time of day, yay. Although I feel like doing it during the daytime is still better. Just to ensure that we don't have to worry about going uh, too loud. But we'll see. Won't we, Memo? Yeah, I want to see if I can get this done with as quickly as I possibly can. But ideally, I try to stick to a wake-up schedule of 12, at worst, 1. So we'll see. Um, yep. Yeah, we'll see. It's ideal if I can wake up early enough anyways, so I can go on ahead, eat breakfast, and record the plate up. I probably won't worry about recording Terraria until Sunday. Sunday is more preferable, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Man. We are struggling to get pretty much almost all of May's... What the hell happened here? What the... Did I break this? It's fine. I have soap. I have soap touch right here. What the hell happened here? Did it break some of the leaves? No, that doesn't make any sense. I, when would I have broken that? I feel like I would have noticed that I have broken that. What happened there? Hmm. Uh, some screwery is afoot, and I don't know why. Yeah, I did break it, but I just don't remember. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why do I not remember it? Well, then again, it's every single week is uh, two hours of Minecraft, so if I don't remember it, that's because it's been a while ago. Now, if that's the case, why the hell didn't I fix it? Ooh, parkour for saplings. Not all of them, though. Yeah, even in Minecraft, in this particular instance, is struggling a tiny bit with little lag spurts. Nothing too massive, of course. Oh, and there goes the cat scratching her damn cone again. Oh, I got it. That didn't want to scratch, you, scratch your cage for you. Just think about it. When Wednesday comes, you won't have to worry about that cone anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. There's another one over here, but can I reach that without... <sighs> I have to do it, like, right here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I don't know why I'm bothering. These are pretty inconsequential due to the stacks and stacks of spruce saplings that I possess. Unnecessary. But necessary too. I would say the one major thing that I need to do is take a lot of the dirt that I have and build a nice long, I guess, five block wide dirt path along the lake. I think that's today's objective, is to try to get the area surrounding the entire lake finished, minus the area where the gate's going to be made. It's only going to be one gate made, so it's not going to be like a massive amount of space is needed. It might be a four by three. I mean, how big was the other one? Wasn't it like a 6x4 or something? Hmm, I have no clue. I don't know. But I want to try to, like, reduce the size of the gates, opening sequence and whatnot. Hmm. Oh yeah, making it like a 4x3 makes the 
most sense, but the other one being a 3 by 3 instead. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. I feel like it would make a hell of a lot more sense to build the gate first. But like I said, right now the main objective is to just focus on the one aspect of this village, and that's the wall. But at least the walls I can get into a groove for as long as I can with only two episodes remaining. This one being one of the two. Oh man. This village is such a it's a much a a much bigger project than I really would have expected. I should have figured that it would be this ginormous. I really should have. Ugh. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it is a large ass project, I will say. But um it's a project we're getting done with. We're gonna get done with this, don't you worry. We're not gonna leave this project. My god, I can barely see shit. What happened to the brightness? It's bright. Why can't I see shit? Oh, the cat's licking her cone again. I don't even know where I am half the time here. Man, I was so dark. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Man, how is this thing still so big? The darkness screwed with me, and now there's way more here than I expected there. No, like seriously, why is this so big? This is way larger than I expected it to be. Okay, I think I got it in here. All right, there we go. Man, this one was a large one. I mean, that's good. The more of that we have, the better. But still, I was not expecting it to be that big. Too big. But that's fine. Man, how high up were you? You were not that big. It must have been an optical illusion. Had to have been. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been an optical illusion. Definitely. God, I can't see shit. Now I'm going about this the wrong way. I, I had like a system and then I just messed it up. Silence for a little bit while I try to get my system back. Yeah, these things are just giant. Sometimes you forget how giant certain trees are. Probably the main reason why I still use this material, because it's the easiest material to get a bunch of wood from. That, jungle, and technically, I guess, dark oak. But that one's a little bit more trickier. Hmm. Wait, why didn't you pick that up? Yeah, pick that up. What are you doing? I got a lot of sticks I don't need. Huh, weird. Um, you know what? That's fine. I'm uh, not here. I don't think that helps very much. in here. Do I want to mine these two, though, or three, though? I mean, it's ideal that I do that, so I don't know. At the very least, let's move all of this out of the way. Put all of that in here. Oh yeah, look at all that. That's a lot. Too bad it's not enough still. You think that's enough? It's not enough. You saw how much wood we used in the past few episodes. 
the amount of wood necessary to get these done with is, ex is a staggering amount. Uh, I don't even think I would be able to get all of the wood I need if I did two hours of just tree mining. That's how much wood is here. You know, it would be cool if I, if I could find a taiga forest, like an actual tall taiga forest. I feel like I might have come across one at some point, but I don't recall. It would have to have been in that direction over there, I believe. I do declare. I do presume. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh, yeah, look at all these saplings. Getting more of them. We can't get a tiger forest anywhere nearby. I'll make my own. Oh, yeah, that's really interesting to make the entirety of the area surrounding the village into a taiga forest. Maybe not like a giant one, but one that's at least big enough to have a considerable amount of, you know, space to be covered by trees. That would be nice to know. Village hidden amongst a bunch of trees. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that would be nice. My voice sounds a little coarse is because it is dealt with a very annoying frustration earlier today that required me to have to reread the entire episode of the Laughter Academy that I did. Because I didn't have enough time to really proofread it before, like, you know, it would get too late. So, I pretty much just had to post it and then at work proofread and fix up any grammatical and other mistakes that were made. And when I did it, the stupid fucking system and subscribe so it was like, the session expired and just removed all of my work instead of just editing it and making it work. Stupidly annoying. And I don't care what, uh, what logistical reasons they have for that to occur. It's not a good enough reason to just take ooh, wood. I'm not gonna have that. Just take all of what I just did and basically make it null and void. It's frustrating. It is just incredibly frustrating. Sure enough, I had to proofread it again, and I caught some things that I missed a couple times over. Still, though, very annoying. Extremely annoying. And I got a lot of sticks here. Let me bring some sticks with me just so I can have. A bunch for the fencing. Whoops. Okay, the entire night has passed. This would mean now. I can work on what I need to work on. We're just killing this Enderman, which I'm gonna guess to be this in the basement. I look at you being in the basement. God damn it. There. Die for your crimes against cat kind, you stupid, lengthy piece of shit. You suck. You didn't work at all. You're not a weapon. You don't even have sharpness on you, so you're not really good. And you just suck because you keep burning the underman when you need to kill him immediately. Whatever. I got the block back. All right, horse, it's time to get a move on. Yeah, look at all that. You can see a little bit of the wall, too. I mean, it's still probably bad to look at it from this angle here. This is how much we've done within the span of a small amount of episodes. That's our goal over here, and maybe even more so after that. We'll see. I don't know. That's a lot that I gotta get done with. Yeah, it's a whole lot. It's a considerable amount. Like, I could just see pretty much almost everything by going into the horse. I don't even know how helpful that is. 
It's not really that helpful. Like, yeah, sure, I could get like a little brief invisible wall bit here, but it's not helpful still. It is brief. Yeah, look at that. I can basically just do this and not have to worry about being snuck up on by anything. Which is always a good thing. Alright, all of you sticks, or at least some of you sticks, just go wherever it doesn't matter. Right, Matt. Right now, what matters is that we get all this taken care of. Because there's a lot of things that we gotta do here. That involves dirt. Mm-hmm. Landscaping, son. Can you believe it? We're back at it again with landscaping. Technically, it should be four. Technically. Right now, you should only be going out by four, correct? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, so this is pretty much what it is. And you are just licking that cone, thinking you're licking yourself, but you're not. What's the quickest way to do this? It's not like there's that much to have to worry about. This right here is where the walls are going to be. That's right here is where the stone, the cobblestone is going to be. Maybe... Yeah, because there's not that much here to begin with. I could probably just create a nice little line of dirt going along sides here, so... Probably. Mm hmm. Jeez, and it still goes. Damn. It is a really, really long path. You think we get all this done? Okay, fuck you. You think we can get all of this done with? Hmm, I don't know. Feels like I might be able to, but it's hard to say. And where exactly is the wall going, you may ask? Hmm. No clue. But I feel my voice getting raspier by the minute. Who am I trying to replicate voice-wise? I cannot say. Some old anime guy, that's for certain. But who knows? Only the public knows. Yes, of course. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait. You're thicker. I see. Mm. So it would seem that this is where that is going to go. Understandable. Well, in that case, I shall just do this. I know for a fact that this is going by the size of four. Or are you by three? No, you might be three. Which I think will be fine. You might be slightly different, though. Hmm? No, you're just nothing. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Give me that dark back. Got their back. Ooh, and I got copper too. What are you flapping for? Yeah, so that will have to do. You need to move it. Alright, dumbass, you wanna die? It's funny how that still counts and gave me experience. You know what? Yes, I did that. Definitely not gravity and sand. How the hell did you scroll that far? Whatever, it's fine. It was not fine. That. Now it's fine. 
Okay, this one is by four now. Well, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, which I guess is good. That's not good, though. I need you to stop. Holy shit, did that really just go that far out? Damn. Oh, wait, no, that's just another squid dying. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. But it was. Apparently. <laughs> All right. We're getting there slowly but surely. But how? Mm -hmm. Getting this entire line of dirt place is helpful, but I feel like I still need stone. Yep. Stone is what I'm going to need soon. So much stone. I don't even know if I have enough. Probably not. If trying to talk like a raspy old anime rant pod is not helping at all. Bark. Barley. I'm gonna have to say barely, but you know what? Ugh. Voice is a bit worse. Of course, that's what I'm looking for, of course. And also, I'm tired as all hell. If I didn't have to get angry at something stupid as a fucking expired request during an edit. And also, DeviantArt's freaking formatting decisions being a headache. Not formatting, submission changes and format changes because of that being a headache. Well, I probably wouldn't be this annoyed, wouldn't I? Yes, of course. Probably would be a bit better. Okay. Um, oh, so this is the part that I'm not entirely too sure about. I would say we only go as far as we can until it starts to curve, right? Because let me see for a quick second. One, two, three, four. I feel like the gate needs to at least be 4x3 in this one. But in it, it's going to be completely different in the sense where, you know. Yeah. No, I mean. So, I guess I'll just go on ahead. What did I do for this one? Yeah, I'll just start here. Should be better. It's unlikely that we'll get to this point in this episode. Because again, I don't think I have enough cobblestone for this. Pretty sure I don't, at least. But if I can get most of the this area taken care of, that would be great. Well, we'll see. Oh, that's a good question. How am I going to do this? You know what? That's a problem for future me. Yeah, I don't envy being that guy right now. <laughs> yep. Okay, I guess that works. Let's just keep on keeping on. I'll put all this on as I need to place it on. And then after that, I don't know. I just need to try to get this going a little bit further. 
all this landscaping. Which, you know, is insane that the amount of dirt we used here was way more than one would have ever expected. It's a lot of dirt, and we haven't even fully used all of it yet. And plus, I don't even have enough to get the stone that I need either. Yep. There's a lot still that we gotta do. Two stacks left. You know, I'm not sure. Will this be enough? We're gonna have stacks at this point now. Oh, technically you're not gonna be that. Where were you again? One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess just leave that open for now. What are you doing, cat? Alright, no clue where she's at, but she's making noises. Over here? Nope. Oops. Downstairs again? Of course you are. Enough. Although, like I said, it doesn't really matter that much because we're not going in that direction. Yeah, no, we're not going that far. Well, who knows, maybe. How much cobblestone do I have? I could get like a giant wall built still. Ugh, man, cat, you really need to learn to stop scratching that. You can't get your, to your itch, you gotta stop trying to scratch it, it's not gonna help. How much cobblestone do I have, horse? Let me put some stuff away first. And... Oh, I don't feel like dealing with a potential thunderstorm, so I'm just gonna sleep. Real quick. Go. I guess this is all the coal that I have. Yeah, sure, let's mine all this up, shall we? With our Fortune 3. I have no clue how much coal I have entirely. Only 10 left here. That's not giving me as much coal as I hoped it would. Eh, it should be fine for what I need at least. Which I would say... Enough for a full on stack. Wouldn't you agree, cat? Who keeps on scratching? I'll scratch your itch for you. Hopefully that helped. Nope, you're still scratching. We just have that. What? What more? Are you trying to resist it? I don't know what you're trying to do, cat. Okay, that may be more than enough. No, it's not. How many times do I have to scratch that spot for you? Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, trying to like open these and close them so I don't have to freaking hear that obnoxious noise. Hopefully we can get that damn thing off her head soon so she doesn't have to worry about it. Would be great. Alright, so, so that's good. Okay, I might not be able to get a whole lot finished, but I am going to at least get done with some of it. Right now, my main focus is going to be on one thing and one thing only. This side over here. We're doing it like this, 
building it up by seconds, I guess. Probably gonna need more cobblestone. But this will at least help us determine how much we need it at the moment, maybe. And just give us a nice long wall to work with here in general. No, not me. We can put our frames down first and foremost. Just leave this here because I have no clue where the hell I need you to be. But we're gonna have this be a three by something or another. I'm gonna need space here. The door is gonna be here. Scratch. Is that good, cat? I'm gonna shake your head. Okay, I guess that's good. I don't know. This is the one thing that always just confuses me, because I have no clue what you're supposed to be in terms of, like, corners, rim. It seems like the rims always manage to go here. Leave that one little spot open. While this one seems to go here. In the corner. But the insides don't have the same thing. So in other words, you should theoretically be this, theoretically speaking, and you keep to that size no matter what. It's only when it's windy does the path seem very confusing, but given, yeah, given that that's where that is, it always has to try to stay at the same level as everything else. Yep. This is what it's supposed to be, that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, we won't have to worry about any mobs trying to get their arses here because they won't be able to. This will be as safe as this can be. Hopefully I have everything on me at the moment to get this part done with. Okay. There's the part that we haven't done anything with yet. The only spot that I think is probably not the safest. Well, not until maybe I get rid of this. Okay, so that means if this is going to be here, that means there has to be at least a corner here. Yeah. That means you're going in this direction. I mean, that's what most of those are like, right? It's up the corner of the torch. And that is what it is. That's what it do be. Alright, good. Feels like we got that part kind of pretty much set. That means you're gonna go right and into the gate when it's time for it to be built. And hopefully when it's time for it to be built, I will have everything I need to do that. I can't even say that with a straight face, because I will not have everything I need. <laughs> Ugh, man, I can't wait to get out of this era and into the factory era so I can manufacture cobblestone via TNT duping. There's a lot of things I would like to try to manufacture and get automated. We went through the process a dozen times over collecting materials, so having some kind of automated form would be great. The only thing we wouldn't have are the trees. I don't even think you can make an automated tree farm in this game. You might be able to. Somebody might have discovered a way to do it. Somebody discovered what is essentially an automated, uh, what you call it? 
farm. An automated cobblestone farm simply by utilizing a glitch. Because of that, there is a possible way to get infinite cobblestone without having to worry about anything. Oops. Hey, how the hell do I want to do this? Well, I know you're going to have to go upwards like so. I like that, right? Yep. Let's just focus on these first, because I think these are easier to work with now. Yeah, the cobbles, the, the stair are the ones that are getting used the most here. I don't think I have enough for it with this part, which is unfortunate. Oh yeah, no, I don't have enough. There's no way I have enough for this. It'd be a miracle if I had enough for this. I at least want to get the back walls finished if I can. Like, I might possibly have enough, but there's no way to know. Hmm. Hard to say. I just have enough. Like if I were to convert the whoops the rest of these into stairs, then that should be enough, right? At least for the back side. Oh, I didn't even have to convert it. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Okay. And now for the next part. The full-on wall portion. Which is always going to just be at this big, right? And I keep, don't keep, uh, don't forget, this is a wall. It's not a window. It's a wall. In other words, there's no windows, obviously. I mean, I don't think I need to explain to you the concept as to why, goddammit, this is not a window. It's a wall. Oops. Might be able to get enough to get that taken care of, I'm not sure. I think most of everything around that edge should theoretically be enough. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't have enough cobblestone to get most of this taken care of, so I'm gonna have to get my co uh, cobblestone. Definitely. With the amount that I've used here, I'm definitely gonna get more of this too. But hey, once this is finished, then this side over here will be fully corned off, which is great. Just gotta worry about the other side now, maybe. But I don't think that's gonna to happen until we get the uh, thing taken care of. Okay, I guess while I'm here, I might as well get the other side taken care of too. Might even want to try to get the inside taken care of as well. Although with the way this thing is set up, I don't think we need to worry about mobs that much. Damn insect trying to fly around in my goddamn house. I don't think so. It is a bit of a shame that they don't have lake view anymore. What can you do? We need to keep this town safe from any and all mobs looking to cause a problem. I can't keep everyone happy. Some just aren't going to have a lake view. Sure, this lake is bigger than the other one. But... Safety is more important. 
then we already got a lake town on the opposite side. Whoops. So I don't need to make another lake town over here. At least right now, maybe. We might make one in the future, who knows. But if we do, then it's going to be an area lake town, because there's going to be barely any space in here. So it's a double-edged sword, what they're asking of me. They just don't even realize it. I hope someday they will. That I do. Oh, I can hear you fools in the back there. Let me look at you over there. Enjoy well last, because you're not going to be allowed back here at all. <laughs> Jack holes. Oh, so I had some, just not a lot. Well, obviously, I don't have a lot. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate the fucking gravity in this game, I really do. What are you trying to do? Trying to get a good look at me? Yeah, good luck with that, asshole. Trying to figure out what would be the best way to go about doing this part here. Because we go in, place down the top portion, and then we go ahead and put all the stuff in here to get the insides of these walls finished. I still need more cobblestone to get the rims around it finished, but other than that... Hmm. How much time has passed? Almost an hour. And this is what we've gotten done with so far. You gotta try it? No. I would have heard a stink. Then I would have fertilized you. Now this would be the only thing I would want to try to do. Let's get this to at least go over one more. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I think mobs are more likely going to spawn around up there. It is going to be nice, though, having a giant wall here to fully protect the villagers. Nothing will be able to get to them. They will always remain protected. It's a good thing to have, you know? Of course it's a good thing. You would have to be an idiot to think that it's not a good thing for these villagers to have a giant wall the size of their two-story houses to protect them. Protection is important in this game. Especially when it comes to villagers. They aren't exactly the best when it comes to protecting themselves. Let's be honest with ourselves, these villagers suck at protecting themselves. They gotta rely on clunky golems to protect them. And while it does sometimes work, 9 times out of 10, it doesn't. Depends on what kind of threat they're dealing with. Like, if they're dealing with the threat of another player, then usually they're not gonna succeed. The golems, I'd say. Just depends on who is the one going at it with these golems. There shouldn't be any threats within these halls, I don't think. Even so, I'm gonna occasionally go back to get done with all of this here. Threats? Nope. No, you fool. Light in the middle. Man, 
all of this just for the interior. And then there's another one for the exterior. Good. Safe. I don't know how likely it is for any mobs to spawn this close and up top. I guess we'll see. Damn, need more. And that finishes off that size protection. Oh man, that would have been perfect if that was the last bit. Alright, good, great. I don't have an easier way to get around, so... Okay. Oh wait, no. Well... Not necessary. Okay, I need more cobblestone. A lot more cobblestone. But at least the basic walls have been placed down. It's not done yet. Not by a long shot. I need more cobblestone. Yep, more cobblestone. How'd you guys know? Alright, let's just leave this stuff in here for now. I need to make sure my inventory is relatively clear. And I guess... Yeah, I get more coal torches. Get more torches. And off we go. Right? Yeah. We don't have anything to. Uh, wait, hold on. Is this emptied? No. I want to at least get rid of those. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now we need the cobblestone. Now what's funny enough, we're gonna need more spruce again. And we never not need spruce. There's always gonna be spruce that's needed. Yeah, we'll worry about that section later. When we get to the point where we actually start digging all that stuff out and making the gates, that's what we'll worry about. These fucking endermen. I swear, I want to strangle them. It's fine. It's fine, we're gonna continue our path. Ow. Do I want to continue down this path? Sure, why not? Is that you making that noise? Wow. Poor Moon Arrow. He's just laying there. Although I don't know if that was her making that noise or someone else. And when I say someone else, I mean next door neighbors. It would be like a door squeaking sound effect for all I know. Could be, but I don't know. I hear a skeleton. I would rather not have to deal with skeletons if I can help it. Man, how much cobblestone do I need? I got no clue. I need a lot of things. I need so much things here. It's insane. Alright, let's see. I'm hoping I'm not going to them. I'm hoping they're like underneath or to the left. From further left, because I just need cobblestone. No caves, nothing like that. I just need cobblestone. I'm not asking for anything else but cobblestone. Matter of fact, we can make more use with what we've got here. 
Although this is a bit more of a pain to have to dig through, so I don't know. Oh, well. That's fine. Where's my torch? Get in there, goddammit. Where it has noises from the, the uh, underground lake thingy. That's cool. Alright. Uh, I don't care too much about that right now. I did not want you to do that, but I might as well grab you. Oh, really? Hmm. I wonder if I... What the? Oh, I see. Hey, you just get your ass down here, goddammit. Matter of fact, just get the hell out of here. Not on my face, I don't need you right now. I got more important things to collect. Like all this cobblestone. I don't know how helpful this is gonna be, realistically speaking. Yeah, a torch definitely fell in here, but I can't see it anymore. Ironically enough. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we still need a lot more. Yeah, doing this is taking a hell of a lot longer than I need. Would like for it to take. Is it because it's farther away or something? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm, you know, this is kind of funny. You can dig up like five blocks here. But in terms of digging down... Oh. What is that, three blocks? Just like Terraria. You can dig up, or build it, dig up pretty high, but you can't do anything pretty low downwards. I guess technically I can't do that, but I don't know where. I mean, that's still four blocks up, as opposed to three blocks down crouching. So that's still a lot, I'd say. Okay, I'm just gonna put a torch here. And what I'm gonna do... Ooh, iron. Interesting. You know what? I got an idea. I'll just leave this open. You see there's a hole there. The hole's important, right? See that? See that there's a hole there. And you think, huh, holes are important. Why don't I go to that? Oh, look at that. Even more so. The reason why I'm not collecting right now is I need to focus more so on cobblestone. So I guess what I could do... God damn it. I don't want this right now. Is there a way I can make a connection to this here? Or is this all just... diorite in the way? Yeah, there is a way. Yeah, I can connect this. I have abandoned my original plan as in the hopes of trying to connect this with the uh, the iron that's over here. Oh, that just made a loop. Line that up from top. Man, I wonder where that skeleton is now. No, seriously, where is that skeleton at? Boom. Now we know. Alright, I'm gonna go this way now. What do I want to dig while I'm in here? 
Okay, gravel, great. Ugh, fucking gravel. I could do, uh, dig a nice maze, I guess. Until gravel gets in the fucking way and annoys the shit out of me. How about this direction? Yeah, I think this is nice to do. Make a nice little maze. Oh, great, more gravel. I wish I had a trash can to bump you into like I do in Terraria. Just to show you how much I want you gone right now, you stupid piece of crap gravel. I just want cobblestone. I'm also trying to create a maze for some reason. Don't ask me why. What the- where am I? Covered iron that I left behind. What the hell was this area again? Did I dig this area out? No, this is definitely a different area here. Well, you know what? A connection to another cave, I guess. Sure, why not? Damn it. Ugh. Okay, fine, sure. Just open that up, I guess. do this just because. How am I supposed to make a nice maze if you keep giving me loot? Guess that's how you get materials to show up that you want. Just try to build a maze and then just get stuck by a bunch of fucking materials. Oh my god, why is there so many material and gravel? Materials and gravel. Where have I not gone? This... I can't make a maze. This is just opening up the further maze here. God damn it, now you're open even further. Okay, how about this direction? Never mind, that goes into this part of the maze. I guess this is connected here now. Okay, how about this way? Surely there's nothing in this path. Surely the maze can continue, right? Get rid of your bullshit here. <laughs> Asshole. Okay, where were we? Maze building. <sighs> God. Mm. Man, you really just don't want me to build a fucking maze. I'm trying to do this while collecting anything right now. Okay, that's great. No, that's great. How about this way instead? I'm just creating a winding path at this point because there's nothing more I can do to keep on doing this bullshit. Man, this is a maze with a whole bunch of loot that's going to be collected in the future. Uh, guess I'll go this way then. Man, why is this more difficult than it needs to be? Every time I try to go a path, there leads a thing that I don't want. Is there even a path that I can go anymore? This is just gonna lead me to the iron on this side, right? Well, I can't make a fucking turn now, can I? Okay, I see. We got another path to the maze now. Let's try this side instead. Surely there's a way to make a maze here. Well, this is a very ominous and useless room. <sighs> you know what? I am going to make it useful. By digging around 
all of it. I've given up the maze objective. I'm now just digging up straight up cobblestone. What we do. It's the only thing we can really do right now because you really just don't want us to make a maze, do you? Again, so many uhs, because there's just so many things in the way. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go upwards. Man, how much iron have I found down here in this spot? Okay, you're dropping cobblestone. I thought they were gonna float away. Ugh, man. Oh, and there's the iron again. Which is good and all, but I need to... I need to do other things right now, goddammit. Man. Oh my god, why is there so much of everything that's not cobblestone around me? I'm opening this up. I have no reason to. I'm just doing it. Okay, screw that cop so I'm continuing this path. Where is it gonna lead me exactly? Out of here. Precisely. Man, this is the fucking Metroidvania of caves, I swear. Oh! Alright, you need to move your ass. Might as well try to just dig out a path for you. Man, how much iron have I found in here and not dug up yet? Well, at least I'll have a lot of iron to work with future. Try to remember that if I can. Well, if I gotta go back and get more cobblestone, there's no way I can possibly forget. Alright, we got more cobblestone. Believe it or not, this is not enough. I can almost guarantee you this is not enough. But it should be at least a little bit for what I'm working on. Hopefully. Ah, look at it. This is where a gate's gonna be built soon. But for right now, I just need to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. I got a lot of cobblestone. I'm gonna convert some of it into stairs. Well, I need a lot more stairs in general, so... Just a lot of stairs. We're gonna sleep the night away again. Primarily because I don't feel like dealing with phantoms while working here. No mobs in general. That's what I want. Alright, let's see. Oh boy. Less than an hour just to get this slither of walls finished. Ugh. We're barely even close to finished here. At least most of this is kind of where it needs to be, right? Yeah. I also gotta get rid of these too, don't I? Technically, these aren't really necessary to begin with because these lights here reach high enough to where this is pointless for me to grab. Yep. Maybe I'll just go around the edge and just get rid of God damn it. Get rid of all of these torches. God damn it. You son of a bitch. Okay. 
I mean, it doesn't look that big. Surely we can get this done with quickly enough, right? I would hope so. Because this is definitely one of those kinds of things that looks like we could get it done with quickly, but we're not going to get it done with quickly. And it's upsetting. I mean, of course it is. This is a long ass wall. So much, so many materials being put into it, and it's still somehow not enough. How do you expect me to take that? It should be enough. Oh, right, how could I forget? Technically, you need to go up by one more, I think. I'm pretty sure, at least. I might just double check. Oh, wait, because you're not set up yet, that doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that tidbit, didn't I? Well, again, we'll worry about that later. Okay, right. Probably better we just focus on this part right here, I must say. Yep. Mm, move that closer. Oh yeah, I need more of that too, don't I? More dirt. At least we're getting through this relatively quickly enough, right? No, you fool. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know that will have to do. I know for a fact that you're going to be a corner regardless, so you're going to just be this. Preempting my corners here. <sighs> okay. If I remember correctly, this always does that. Yeah, I would say this probably would make it easier, but let's do it from this side first. Because this one at least already is set up, so we know what we need. If we know what we need, then we won't have to worry about accidentally making mistakes. Ow. You bitch. Whatever, it's fine. Hit the fucking lantern. Yeah, as you can clearly see. Yeah. This is probably the better way to go about doing this, too. No, you fool. Yep, you're still the same as you need to be. Just the same as it ever was. Yeah, you're still staying there. Being my guard cat, despite the fact you can't guard shit. Is that right? I don't know. It feels right, because technically it's supposed to kind of connect like a framework, somewhat so to speak. So to me that feels right. This is the one thing that has to stay somewhat consistent. Because it does have a major importance in all of this. Oh boy. Ah, oh, brother. Okay, good. You hit quite well here. But hey. This entire area is now going to be protected. 
Nothing on the right side is going to ever hurt any of the villagers. Or get in the way of me building. Yeah, that's good. Of course that's good. It's always good when you don't have to worry about things getting in the way of me building. It's never not good, you know? Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you fool. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, that's so annoying. Well, die there, I guess, you stupid staircase. Or in this case, wall rim. That's what you are. You're a wall rim. Of course, of course I have not. Look at how much cobblestone I just went through. That's a lot of cobblestone. And we probably still don't even have enough for the, uh, the roof. <laughs> That's what's insane about this entire project. One mining trip and we probably are just barely scraping by. Okay. I wish you would place this more properly, and I really do. You dumbass. You're just gonna go in this direction regardless, so none of that really matters. <sighs> okay. Okay, alright. Now, the even more fun part, because this one's a little bit more of a nuisance to try to do properly every time. Do, do. So, I'm, I think I'm gonna just probably place these down first, because this is a million times easier if I do it like this. Um, I think these are always going to be... Well, if we need to do them, I always grab a bat. Get my silk touch back out. I don't want to accidentally screw anything up there if I can help it. This is correct, right? Yeah. And regardless, it has to be correct because it follows a very specific procedure. You know, unless you somehow place one over. Why the hell do these blocks seem so much smaller now all of a sudden? Uh, such a strange phenomena. Doesn't make any sense. How the hell did you do that? I didn't even click the damn thing, you stupid mouse. Oh my god, why? Ugh. Just keep going along the rims. This should make it easier. Unless we run out of blocks. But still, it should make it easier. I believe I do believe this is right, and it better be. It better be right. Um, I would say what's probably gonna make this easier is if I just go on ahead and make the uh, strip here. Night time already, huh? Hmm, maybe it won't be that big of an issue. But if I see a single mob spawn up here, then I am sleeping the night away. I have that power. Okay, whoops. No, you dumbass. <sighs> Actually, better to just sleep the night away than deal with any nonsense, am I right? 40 minutes left to see if I can get this part of the wall finished. <laughs> How hilariously annoying. Let's 
the only thing I can describe it as annoying. Yeah, you're gonna be that no matter what. And uh, dealing with these lanterns here is gonna be a bit of a nuisance too. Uh, thankfully, not that big of a nuisance. Also, you are not right. Technically, you're supposed to be curved around. What the hell I did wrong there, but it's it's not a, a difficult fix. It's an easy fix at that. All right, let's see. No. Damn it. All right, let's see. Oh, right, yeah, no, easy fix, because that one doesn't even have the thing there. And we got nice little rampart indentations here. Purely decorational, of course. But imagine it has some kind of functionality. I imagine it would. But that's just me. Ugh. Yeah, you know, look how much I have here. It's not enough. I can tell you that much for a fact. It's definitely not enough. Okay, at least there's nothing here to stop me from placing it properly. Right, and they're gonna be just that regardless. Okay, next one. Would doing that be better? Kind of. I would say doing this would probably be a million times better. But at least it gets this part done with quickly. And then we can do the next part in quick succession with everything else. Yeah. Yeah, this is a million times better. We should now make this part slightly easier because the only thing I need to focus on is this. And the corners, but the corners are inconsequential. Like they mostly are. I don't know how much of this I need, but I know I need a lot. I'm not gonna make too much though, still. Try to follow the line. Keep it consistent. No. Up, you fool. Then, one more curve. Okay, oops. Okay. All right. Let's go back and see what's next. I think it's mostly just going to be... Oh, yeah. That. Let's get a bunch of this stuff out right now. I don't have a lot of this to work with, so hopefully I'm going to have to go back. Well, at least going back here isn't too bad, because I have a path that allows me to get back with ease, if you don't recall. It's the fact that I can enter from that gate over there. So if I somehow don't have enough spruce, duh. God damn it. Well, I could just do this. There, asshole. 
I circumnavigated your bullshit. Well, this one has a curve, so there's no possible way you can miss that one up. Oh, well, that one's a curve again, so... God damn it. It actually matters. Technically, yes, it does actually matter because of the fencing. Was it in the right spot for the fencing to be able to see it? Probably. Probably not. It's a 3 in 5 chance for it to have been. But still, god damn it. I want that to be perfect. Nothing getting in the way. Everything's right where it needs to be. And then we're golden. Right? Yes, right, of course. I need so many of these. I already got like a whole bunch of the fencing, so it might be oops me to go back anyways just to get those. But I'm gonna try to get through some more cobblestone first before I do anything massive. Yeah, that's a long ass path. And you've seen how much we've had here. Matter of fact, we could probably get each quadrant down to tell you how much I needed in terms of spruce and cobblestone. And I might not even have enough still. Oh, I still have more. Interesting. But it's not good enough again. Alright, nope, it's not going to be enough. Yep, I knew it, I knew it. I just knew it. There was something about that that I knew. I did know. No. If. Yes. Okay. I know I need a lot of views, so I might as well just get ahead of the curve here. Whew, boy. And this one is really simply just a rim, a wrap around, if you will. Right? Yeah, all right, let's see. Oh man, I'm so tired. It's getting close to four o'clock, which makes sense. Yeah, see, there's also a one in two chance of it being shown underneath with this here. Regardless, it needed to be facing in the direction that it needed to face in. Okay, so that one I can kind of already semi predict what it's going to be. I mean, it's obviously a curve, it's going to be going to the left. Okay. Yeah, the park right now is really the only ones that need major lighting. And there's like, what, three of them? One, two, and three over there. Why well, did lights? Oh no, that one's just smaller. So even after I'm done with the walls, there's still the parks that gotta get made. I just question how exactly I'm going to go about doing that. I have no idea. Because the parks aren't big. They're very small parks. You can't even call them a park, technically speaking. This village doesn't have anything in the way of a large park. They have at least a few small parks, I guess. But it's not like there would be that many baby villagers here to begin with, either. Because once the population has reached the maximum, they are unlikely to make any more of themselves. Man. Man. And that's like... 
double the layers up there, and even more so because of the rooftops. I need a lot of cobblestone. There's so much cobblestone that's needed, it's insane. I really wish I had gone and done the factory era first before I went into the modern era. Because technically the factory era came before the modern era, right? Wasn't it like rustic era before? But I'm not going to build a rustic village. Oh, wait a minute. Are you fucking- okay, die. Ugh, these fucking- whatever. Whatever. I will at least try to get these taken care of. I mean, I think no matter what, these are going to have to follow the same procedure every time. Because the bottoms were built to allow for the tops to be what they are. Get over here. Yep, emptied out. Oh wait, I don't need you here. Okay. Okay. I'm just questioning how I want to go about doing the rest of this. Isn't there a framework here too, technically speaking? I believe there is, right? And if there is a framework here, yeah, damn. It means there's more of this that gets to get used. Which means I might not have enough on me, at least. You can't get up here. You can only spawn up here. And even then, good luck, because it's not going to last for long. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I need to get up here first. This is a bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Why does this feel like something familiar? An old game. Hubert? But why Hubert of all of a sudden? Because I'm jumping on blocks? doing it a very specific pattern out and fucking up at the end because of something stupid. I remember the 3D Hubert Adventure game. Wonder why they haven't made another one of those. Yeah, Hubert's one of those like old video games that have kind of just been forgotten to the tests of time. Or has been doomed to uh, mobile game hell. Which is a bit upsetting to think about that there are some games doomed to be perpetual mobile games. Which, on the surface, shouldn't technically sound bad, but... Uh, with most companies the way they are today, it is bad. It's very bad. Mobile. Ooh, I have another stack. I didn't realize that, but I was on my last stack. Not gonna be enough regardless, but it's gonna be something. Yeah, look at that. How much do I have right now? Just what I have on me. So in other words, I need to go back, grab more, grab all the other stuff. And hope I have enough with what I got. I might have enough for the frames, but do I have enough for the spruce? We'll find out. I think I have at least, like, what, three stacks worth, hopefully. 
Probably not enough. Yeah, still need more. Mm, this would probably still be the better way to go about going in, getting to where I need to get to. Now you saw something. Maybe ignore it. I like that they can't get in here anymore. Feels empowering, you know. Can't get in from here. Can't get in from there. Can't get in from anywhere. Ooh, I got more than I expected. Well, that's great. Matter of fact, that's actually perfect. And what about this? Not a lot, but I have some of this. Is that enough? You know, probably not. You know what? I don't need this one right now. So there. Nope, gotta do it here. And now we gotta see if any mobs have spawned. I feel like we should be able to see them spawning, right? Are you still trying to get up here? Oh, that's just grass I'm seeing. I thought I saw a creeper there, and I was about to say. See, the thing is, I don't know if they can spawn up here. I, at least up here they should be able to spawn. But not down there. Even so, it's not that big of a problem. Okay, so how many quadrants is this, I question, because that is an important question to be asking here. I'm going to focus on the ceiling and the rooftop, first and foremost. Okay, good, great. Oh yeah, wait. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I didn't somehow skip some numbers. It is a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Three trees mined. Good question. I have no idea still. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I still have no idea. So about 20 quadrants per episode. They we're doing it like this, at least. But also, we had extra stuff left over, right? Extra cobblestone left over. So... Still inconclusive. Uh, uh, personally, I believe it's still inconclusive. Mm, golden armored zombie over there. What are you doing? Okay, let's just continue this little path here real quick. Um, well. If this area wasn't as protected before, it is definitely now, though. That's what I can that's what I said before, but I'll say it again. Ain't no way these fools are gonna be able to get around this side. And that's the great thing about this particular wall section over here. I like it a lot. Neat. Wish I could um get a lot more done with though. <laughs> But alas, we only have two hours. Okay. I know I need a hell of a lot more, but I'm just gonna get two stacks going. We'll focus on the roof, and then the interior ceiling. Light that up, and I'll finish that off. Chances are we might just spend some time getting more wooden stone, most likely. 
more wood especially. <clears throat> okay. Now we just dig, or dig, build the rest of this. How in the hell did you manage that? Ugh, Christ. Yeah, everything here seems like it's right where it needs to be. As windy as this is, it's nice. I would say the only one here, whoops, the only one here that's going to be a little trickier to work with are the ones that are elevated. And I don't know if those are something I'm going to work on right now. The elevated ones are definitely going to be tricky. I don't even know how the hell that's going to work. Okay, I thought you were going to place that there. I mean, holding it down does kind of work if we're looking at it in this direction. Spider! Ooh, can you get up here, Broski? Or are you stuck on my wall? <laughs> my protection is already working quite well. And that's the beauty about this place. And they can't get in. Alright. This one's more important because of the vastness of it. God damn it. Well, I can still place it to the side or not. No, I'll just delete that later. Even though it's annoying that it's there. I'll deal with it later. I'll go around the rim and see if all of these are placed here. Come on, you fool. Yeah, holding it down does seem to work better. Oh, it doesn't work if you don't have the thing for that. Okay, you weren't quick enough still. Still not quick enough. God damn it, no. And I know you're not going in that direction. What are you doing? Get up here. Oh, right. You, you son of a bitch. Damn it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Unless I do it like this, then you have no chip. Okay, never mind. You know, Minecraft and Terraria's block placements are definitely completely different in the sense that I can hold down the button and it will usually work most of the times. With walls, it works better. Some blocks, you gotta have feather falling if they're going down <laughs> a giant ass shaft. I wish you guys would follow, no, follow suit a specific protocol, but you do not wish to do that. And not only that, but I don't think we have enough. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. We don't have enough. I need more cobblestone. Again. I really wish that I could convert all that stone I have into cobblestone. Because it would be a million times better. I don't even know if I'll be able to use that stone, is the thing. Might as well just get the eight in here. Would you stop doing that? Could I? No, that won't work, because it'll just treat this as... Oh no, it does work. 
Well, that's helpful, I guess. But you know what's not helpful is the lack of cobblestone. That's never helpful. <laughs> I'm barely even gonna have enough for this. Well, if I want this finished, I'm gonna have to take a little extra time to get resources, goddammit. Why the fuck did you do that? Ugh. Yeah, that can work nine times out of ten. Nope. Now you somehow go upwards, despite the fact that I don't want you going up. Okay. Alright. Okay. Still not enough, right? Yep. I barely even have enough for this part here. Damn it. Ugh. Damn. This definitely is not enough. I'm always gonna get that done so I can go down here and adjust this one. But you're definitely not supposed to be here. As well. Good. You're supposed to be here, like that. Uh, well, we might not be able to get that done with, but I can tell you one thing that we can get done with, and that's this. How much do we need? A lot, is all I'm gonna say. Probably more than that. So we're gonna just get the interior done with then, and we'll get the roof finished with the cobblestone. Just goes to show that we need a lot of cobblestone just to be able to get this taken care of. Ugh, so much cobblestone, it's insane. You over here, being a douche. What a douche. What'd I tell you? What'd I for we can tell you? Hey, it was enough for at least one strip, but not enough for the rest of it. Man. Just how much more do I possibly need? And even then, after that, still not enough. Because there's still all of this here. You gotta understand. It's a lot. For just like 22 quadrants worth of this. And there's probably like over a hundred or so. I don't know. But there's a lot. And we might not even be anywhere near done with this when it matters most. I hope we get to the point where we can start working on the other stuff. I really do. I guess right now, let's just focus on this. No, you fool. I can middle click this. Man, I, I guess I can't just do that, can I? Okay. Yeah, no, definitely not enough. Definitely not enough. Hey, whatever, I'm just spamming it. And I have no sticks on me to make the rest of it. Which is annoying. I don't even know how much sticks I need. A lot, apparently. 
Story enough. Mm hmm. We'll see. We got 20 minutes left, so my best bet is to just sleep the night away. Have one more night to get what we need. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Well, I might as well just make a bunch of fucking this stuff. I don't even know how much I need. To get two stacks worth, I guess. Yeah, I'll get this taken care of. I'm gonna try to give myself a little extra time before the end. But ideal, whoops, ideally, we somehow get this entire wall finished before the next night. Oh, for crying out loud, I hate that so much. Yep, and it keeps on going. It just keeps on going. Kind of funny when you think about it, though. God damn it. The amount of time it takes to get these done with the walls themselves. It rings true to the complexity of my goddamn projects, and I don't have enough. Two stacks was e wasn't even enough for this. We have to go over two stacks. You have got to be fucking kidding me, game. Okay. Oh, Christ and Hymen. Right, I forgot about this tidbit. See? See, this is what I mean. This right here. Ugh. How much do I need for this one particular segment here? No clue, but we'll just work with what we've got and see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, wasn't there fences for the fucking lighting here or something? God, I don't know. I'm, I'm just so tired. I'm trying to work on this during nighttime, which is even more so annoying because I can barely see shit in here. I don't even have my light fixtures up yet. Nope, don't have enough again. Still not enough. I need more of this. I need more of everything. All of this just for 20 quadrants or so. We barely get enough as is. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough for the interior now, because I need a lot more wood. Are you really trying to tell me that what I have is still not enough? It's just barely not enough. Game. You need to chillax. Oh. Right. Well, I can't use this anymore now, can I? Well, let's at least make this part easier on me. So I can at least see what the hell I'm doing and I have at least the lighting here taken care of. I am just amazing at that. Spoke too soon. 
when I can see, I just, my eyes deceive me and I screw up. Hmm. If everything goes accordingly, I should have more than enough of this. It's hard to say because I need a lot of this, but I also need a lot of the stone. Stone. A lot of the stairs, I mean. Well, you know what? I guess we'll see. Let's do the center first. Because I think it's quicker to just go by it like a lion, like so. You fool. <sighs> Please tell me I have just enough for this. Barely. Christ, man, why? Why are you like this? Try to go speedy race I missed. Damn it. Damn it, I missed again. It's definitely not enough. And now, this way. Well, now it shouldn't be too difficult to mess up, right? I say as I almost messed up. Three left, of course. <laughs> you son of a bitch. All that wood I collected was for Naunted Wood of Year. And now I gotta collect a crap ton of cobblestone. Just to be able to finish this goddamn thing out. Oh my god. Such a freaking giant project, I must say. How much time is left? Two minutes? Really? Well, I don't need this timer anymore because I know our final objective. For the rest of the day, we're going to be collecting some stone, we're going to be finishing this rooftop, and then that's that. The final episode will commence soonish. Next week, I should say. <sighs> I've used up so many things. That's just too much. There really is too much here. Ugh, boy. You know, I'd say the next objective should probably be to try to make this a little bit more safer in the sense where there's only one opening, I guess. So maybe I will start building the next wall here, going over to here and going as far as I can make it. We'll see, but I need cobblestone now. I'll take a little extra time to get some cobblestone. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Never mind, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, I don't have coal. I don't have lighting. I am annoyed. Maybe instead we just dig what we already have near light sources so we don't have to worry about placing any more torches. Yeah, why not? Makes things a million times easier if I do that. Look at all of this stone here that's not being broken down. I can make this even more treacherous. That is not treacherous enough, apparently. It could become more treacherous, that's for certain. How much cobblestone do I need? Well, I would say, for starters, takes up at least a couple of stacks or so to get one straight line done with. God damn it, would you fucking just magnetize towards me? So I at least need four stacks worth, right? More than that. 
although ideally we spend half the day just collecting a bunch of cobblestone. Put you here so I have a path to get back there. Okay, never mind. I don't know where it went. It went down a stream and I don't feel like going towards it. Although I could just go down there and mine up some cobblestone around that path too. Oops. Ah, eh, whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm just creating an even more stranger indentation here. This place has literally just become my mining playground, and that's really it. I mean, we can always just make these giant armor dangerous, right? No, I can even just move these down further. It's already kind of winding like a cave. <laughs> Both in Minecraft and in Terraria, we're making giant cave systems of our own. Doing feature parody, folks. Whoa. Uh, at least getting this done with first is helpful. And then when we start working on the other thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed, McGrady. Alright, let's see. How much do we have right now, and what time is it? Halfway in. this torch elsewhere. How about here? There we go. Man, I'm just making like a, a, a hole, I guess. Sure, why not? A trench, if you will. And that's what I'm making, a trench. Why not? I want a trench. I want a ginormic anxious trench. And now we have a way to get down here. Because screw you, that's why. Yeah, let's leave that open. As a matter of fact... Okay, never mind if I was going to have an open space. Okay, I do have an open space here. Good. I got another open space here. Even better. Didn't the cobblestone fall down here? Don't know, continuing my CSGO Minecraft 2 map or some shit, I don't know. Sure, let's put all the suffixes in there. And Knuckles, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Including Funky Mode. Now I would add for Spam Tint just to add a new thing, element into that mix. Yes, indeed. Just gotta be careful. Can't mine too deeply into this because I just don't have uh, torches, and I don't feel like getting any more torches. And I just make this into a, a hollow staircase. Yep, a hollow staircase. And technically, I could try to probably just yeah do this. Yeah, that works, I guess. That works, definitely. I do not want to break you. Put your ass back there. Hmm, I could definitely move these torches else. Well, this one, at least over here. I got a free torch to use. I'll put it here. Why not? Make another indentation for me to get more cobblestone in. No signs left. Okay, we're half into the day. That's good. But again, I still can't go too far from my torch yet.
We don't want mobs just randomly spawning inside of our giant ass cave playground. This is here as a safe place for us to get a crap ton of stone. Because obviously that's important to have. Okay, half the day is gone, so let's go. I gotta get this finished, and then that's where we'll call the episode there. I'm gonna have to come back down here anyways. <laughs> and make this even more bigger. I want to see if I can dig more of that space up there. Because the bigger I can make this feel, the better. Alright. This will surely be enough for what we need. It better be. Because if it ain't, I'm gonna be pissed. We'll just keep all of this army. Technically, I have an, another set of staircases, but I'm gonna be making a surplus of them anyways. And who knows, we might get more staircases. Let's just grab the two that we have, because I'm sure it'll make a big difference. Oh yeah, I see you up there, son, getting ready to set. Don't you worry, I got your ass set right here. I think that's gonna take me to ceiling. Perfect. Alright, good, great. And now... Four stacks. Will it be enough? Probably not. This is just a lot of stone that we just collected and are now about to use. And you see, this is why you want to get a uh, TNT duper and cobblestone factory going. If only to just get this process to be a hell of a lot more quicker. And you won't have to just sit there taking a million years of mining all of what you need to mine. I am curious if there is a vanilla tree farm method of some form. I would have to imagine there's at least something similar to like a TNT duper. Like maybe a TNT duper on a timer, the TNT goes through like an obsidian chute and is then shot into the tree section and there is something that plants the sapling. Is this, isn't there a way for our saplings to be planted? I think there is. Yeah, okay, there we go. We did it. A little over a couple hours, but we did it nonetheless. Alright, awesome. Squid died. What happened, squid? Ah, uh, look at it all. Feels nice. Feels accomplishing, you know? Gonna be a gate here soon. But for the most part, this area here is generally safe. There's a nice giant wall preventing any mobs from being able to get all the way over to here. It's going to feel even more safer once most of this is surrounded by walls and gates. Can't forget about, can't forget about the gates. But now this entire block is protected. And that's good. I'm going to go around and put more of those doors like later on in the next season, but yeah. Get over here, horse. Well, actually, wait. While I'm at it... Might as well just take care of this real quick. Now we're not there yet, horse. But this entire area here is now so much safer. This was already safe just due to the fact that there wasn't a lot of things spawning here, but, you know. Just giving you a preview, there's still this section over here we gotta take care of. This section which goes all the way around here, up here, around here with a gate here, goes up here, 
around here. Still going. Yes, it's still going. Somewhere up here. More walls here. Probably a gate around here. Still going. Turn around. Turn around again. Turn around once more. Even more. Gate here. Walls around the edges here. A lot more walls. There may or may not be a gate here, but the idea here is to have that section over there, which is where the bridge is going to be built. Where is it exactly? Yeah, I think it's that section right there. A bridge that's going to go over and over to here. Gate. Wall. But there's still more walls. And in the next episode, we're going to try to get more walls built along the edges here. And then make our own little safe spot to get into here. Eventually, I will build a hut to close that off and dig a drill into there. But that's our next objective, which is this. Which is also going to... Let me see here. One... Two, three-ish? We'll, we'll figure that out. I just know for a fact that there is going to be one gate there, three. So yeah, the, the entirety would just take up that there. It's going to be interesting. I got to try to make my gates activate from just this little section here. We'll see what happens. But for the most part, this side is much safer, but there's still so much of this left. I'm just giving you a preview of what Season 7 is going to be. Hey, Creeper, you can't get in here unless a stupid Enderman placed down a block somewhere around here. I might want to put, like, some bushes around this edge so that nothing can see me going through here. Just would feel nice, you know? Oh man, this is so much work being put into this goddamn place. I'm, I just want to see what this looks like now. Yep, look at that. A nice little wall. You just see like a string of stuff there. And what is this, like... Two and a half episodes worth of time. Spent some time getting that done with. In episode one, we got that done with. Two of them that. And then, okay, so no, three and a half episodes to get this much progress done with. And then four and a half with more over here. Ah, yo, yo, days. I'm gonna have to collect more wood, obviously. I should have figured that this was going to take eons. We're going to the last episode, folks. It's soon to come, the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. I am exhausted and tired. We've done a lot. It's time to end this episode. Let's see. It should be entry number... 23. Now I'll do it from here, since I could just easily pull this over here and do this. Ah, uh, oops. Entry number 23. Yeah. Hello, diary. Today, I worked on more parts of the walls and found out that I need to collect wood and stone every time I at least want to build 20 quadrants worth of walls.
is a lot. Fill up my inventory and we'll barely even have enough. It's clear that this isn't getting done with until next season. Hopefully I can get that all finished before at least halfway into the next season. For now, I'll just continue to suffer through all of this. Here ends the 23rd entry. <sighs> well, that's it, folks. Been at this for two hours and 15 minutes. Technically, not really that bad. But with that being said, thank y'all for watching today's episode of Minecraft RTC Edition. I'm tired, raspy, and just very much stressed with a lot of things going on that you don't even know about right now. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll check out that there playlist. And of course, phew, this episode of Minecraft RTC Edition right over here, and the most recent episode of Sonic Pictures 2 Battle right over there. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.